Welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K. And tonight we're doing Jameson Orange. Uh, Jameson Orange is a new product from Jameson. It's about, I paid $38 for this bottle. I imagine it's probably closer to about $30, $32. Mm -hmm. Bought it in Vegas. Yep. And That's it why it expensive. costs so much. Uh, this one, has, like I said, it's 30% alcohol by volume, which is a little low, but it's typical flavored out mm -hmm. uh, whiskeys. We already poured it because we had a slight snag up. Just a little bit of a technical malfunction. It says on the back to try over ice or try with your favorite mixer for a crisp and refreshing taste. Well, so today we're not going to do that because we don't do ice. Let's look at the color. A <laughs> uh, little bit darker than normal Jameson. Yeah. It's not as orange as I thought it was going to be, though. Yeah. Like, I was a little bit worried it was going to be, like, mostly just an orange color. I like that glass. That is nice. I, I like that a lot, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, marketing. <laughs> it smells like an orange dum-dum. There's barely any whiskey in there. Um, it smells like something you would get out of the baking aisle at Kroger. It's the like, thick, or, yeah. like essence of orange. Orange, like liqueur or something it for baking cakes. more fake to me. It smells so fake. I uh, bet you this would flavor icing fantastically. Uh, so there was another orange product recently on the market. We had... Um, Jim Beam orange, and it was not that great. But it is half the price of this one, so. Uh, yeah. And I just, if you go with Vegas why, prices, three times. Why orange? Because all the other flavors have been done. That's true. Think about now it. they're just grasping, going, ah, what else is there? Um, shit flavored. <laughs> just, right. There's nothing else. Let's do it. Not very sweet. It just think, tastes like orange. There's no whiskey in there. Yeah. It it really just tastes like a, a, a mixing ingredient. Like if I were going to make a drink with whiskey, that might go in it. I would agree with that. <laughs> uh, it's not sweet like, like the Jim Beam orange was. The orange is very, very strong. The mm -hmm. whiskey is not... Jameson's not a very strong whiskey to begin with. Tastes um, like tastes like orange like peel. Uh, Ryan, yeah, it's a little orangey, and then it it has like the whiskey's coming through uh, with the combo with the orange is a little bit like dirt, so kind of earthy, but not in a good way. Um, it's not bad. I argue that it's the best orange whiskey I've ever had, but that's I've had very, this is the second one, so that's very bitter orange. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. It's like the Ryan, like I said. It's um. The earthiness is a little off putting on the back end. Like I said, it's almost the combination with the, the barrel with the orange just comes off as dirty. And, mm -hmm. and it's not uh, it's not that great. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think this would be best used as a uh, like a ingredient in a cocktail, not even the main ingredient. It's like a if you were gonna make a quick old fashioned, like you were like you didn't have orange bitters you or were something. Like whiskey. Throw a cherry in there, throw some simple syrup in there because you don't want to bother crushing up a sugar cube. And then just like a quarter shot of this. Technically, that's not a, that's not actually an old-fashioned, but it would taste kind of like an old-fashioned. This with some vanilla bourbon um, and maybe a little Coke or something to just put it all together. Or you can even do like a, some sort of cream float with ice cream. Ooh. That would work. The ice cream would go really well with this. This would go well with ice cream and vanilla bourbon or something mm -hmm. like that. That would probably work really well. Some kind of cream liqueur. Um, but that's not what we have to mix with uh, with this. Price is high. I go single ingredient. So price is high on this. Let's go for a rating. I'm just going to go five. I don't hate it. Um, it's kind of a unit. It's kind of like a okay. single unit task. It's only has really one or two mm -hmm. pieces. I can, uh, I can see but that. I don't have an issue with it, but it's too expensive for what it is. Yeah, it's too expensive, and also, even if it wasn't too expensive, I still wouldn't give this a five. This is like straight, this tastes like a mixing ingredient that I wouldn't normally drink. I'm going to give this like a four. This is not good. I wouldn't drink this. We're using tea because tea works really well with whiskey and it works really well with citrus. So mm -hmm. we're thinking this might uh, be a good mixer. Uh, we'll find out. And we would have used Coke, but I think this is probably a better choice. Uh, it smells even more dirty than dirt and oranges. Ooh, that just smells like... That does smell like I'm standing next to a bag of dirt at Lowe's. Uh, it's fine. As a mixer, like it works with 
this mixture. Oh, yeah, that's way better. It works. Um, but again, I can't see it working with very many mi mixers. Mm -hmm. It might work with like orange juice or maybe even lemonade. Um, it's definitely a specialty drink. It might work with Coke. It definitely works you with could, tea. You could maybe have this with a... Uh, I'm still kind of hung up on, on uh, the ice cream float idea. I think that would be a good one. That does sound pretty good. Or just vanilla in general. I think this would work really well with vanilla. Uh, I'm going to give it a 6 as a mixer. Uh, it does work as a mixer, but again, I think it's there's not enough uses for it for me to want to mm -hmm. spend that kind of money. And it is... Um, I'd argue that it's a little bit better than the Jim Beam, but they're too different to really compare um, the oranges because that's like a completely different kind of orange than this is. Uh, I'll give this a six as a mixer as well. Uh, but I, I, I picture this sort of sitting up on your bar for like eight years because you've used, you bought it and you spent too much on it and you've used it to make like seven, eight drinks and that's it. And then you couldn't think of anything else to do with it, so there it sits, collecting dust. Yeah, I think the orange the orange flavor, it is a little bit fakey, but I think they did a good job with it overall. And I think they did, they also did a good job on over-sweetening the beverage. Um, that's good, but it just, again, eh, why orange? Mm, yeah. I feel like cherry would be better for bourbon. I just, I really do feel like this, is, this is only meant to mix with. Ginger, cherry, those would be good. It might go up now, ginger ale. I think ginger and orange probably wouldn't work that well. Yeah, I just can't think of too many things to mix this with. It just. Maybe eggnog? Could work. Cream. Could work. You'd have to have you'd have to have a pretty heavy eggnog. Yeah. And not too much of that in it though. I think that could make an interesting an interesting eggnog for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh I I can only recommend this if you're really, really curious and you really enjoy orange. Um, and you think you have some uses for it, I wouldn't buy it just out of, I want to try it, taste it, and I think I'm going to drink the whole bottle, because I guarantee you would not drink this whole bottle. Yeah, no. I'm not going to suggest this. I don't think anyone should buy this. You could just get an orange. And then if you want to add orange to stuff, peel some of that rind off and squeeze it into your drink. Do that instead. Yeah. Uh, that costs like a dollar. I don't like I said I don't hate it as much as I thought of, like I thought I would. Um, it's unique, but it's just not. I don't know. I don't like I said I don't know how you would really drink it. Um, I don't like it. I'm not a fan. All right. Well, that has been our episode. If you'd like to see anything else on the channel, you can leave a comment right there. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.